Let's talk about an eddy current motor. I'm using an old hard drive to um, to make an eddy current motor. The these discs they're aluminum, and if you a uh, changing magnetic field in this disc will create uh, eddy currents, and that's going to create a magnetic field in the disc there. Now, what I did do though is I took the motor apart and uh, pulled out the armature out of there because it interacts with the uh, permanent magnet in there, and uh, the, here's one here, and the the motor's not uh, free to spin. So uh, basically I'm just using the uh, the motor as, as a bearings so this thing can spin freely. Now most of the time we're trying to get rid of eddy currents and that's why we use laminated cores in motors and in, in transformers but in this case I'm trying to induce some uh, current into the uh, disc here and make, create a magnetic field. Now if I just take a permanent magnet and put it over here nothing oh, it's going to pull if I rotate it like this it's going to uh, create a magnetic field in there opposite of this one it's going to be attracted to this to this magnet here so what we want to do though so we're going to use an electromagnet and we're going to use two of them because I have to be it, it has to be changing so I have to I have to be able to uh, changes from North Pole to South Pole and back so that uh, I create a, a rotational torque in here. In order to do that I'm going to use a capacitor to uh, shift the current on this one. So uh, I'm using a uh, one of these uh, electrolytic capacitors. Now uh, they're polarized you can't use those on AC but if you hook them up this way you can you can do it. Um, I'm using uh, there's a I'll, I'll put in a link to a uh, how to how to make a a non-polarized capacitor out of a couple of these electrolytics. So this is what I'm doing here to uh, change this uh, the current in this one. Now ideally it would be 90 degrees out of phase with this one, but since I'm I'm running a capacitor in series with an inductor, that's going to be going to be tough to do. So we'll um, we'll take we'll take see if this thing works, and uh, I'll turn on the power here. Put my uh, zero that out. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Now I'm going to crank up the uh, the amps here. There we go. That's two amps. That's about three amps on there, and uh, it's uh, spinning pretty good. The coils I have are kind of small, so I think three amps is about the max. But if I if I go up a little higher, it'll spin faster. But so it works. The um, I'll show you the coil coils on here. If you can see that or not. There you go. These two coils, these are actually out of a, out of an old doorbell that I pulled those coils out of, and they have to be pretty close to the uh, to the, mag the disc here. So now this is it's not practical. It's not going to do any thing, but it's just fun to uh, make a little motor like that. Um, now I put it on the scope and. Uh, Here's a, here's what happens on the scope here. The uh, these are both the currents, current in one coil and the other coil, and they're out of phase. Now, you know, ideally they'd be out of phase 90 degrees, but since I'm running, uh, you know, uh, in, I'm in series with an, an inductor, uh, you know, I, I'm they're only out of phase by a small amount, but uh, that's enough to create enough a rotational torque to get it to uh, to get it to spin, and uh, that's. Uh, that's an eddy current motor out of a uh, an old hard drive. So uh, you got to be uh, careful if you're using AC on your uh, on your oscilloscope. This is an isolated uh, source here because uh, if you happen to put uh, your probe on the, uh, the your um, shield of the probe is grounded and to uh, the mains power. So uh, if you put your uh, AC on there without an isolated circuit you could you could blow up the oscilloscope so uh, it's got to be isolated 
and uh, so be very careful when you're uh, using uh, AC around your oscilloscope there. And this way I'm only putting uh, at one amp here. I had about three amps, so that's about three volts across there into the scope. So that's working out fine. Anyway, uh, you know, they use these things for uh, for clutches, brakes, and, and the old uh, style watt meters would use this same same system here. And they would run the current through these, these coils. And uh, uh, that's an eddy current motor. Thank you.